Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about a man named Thomas. Now Jesus had 12 disciples and Thomas was one of them. Now Thomas had a nickname. His nickname was Doubting Thomas. But what does doubting mean? Doubting means when we can't quite decide if something is true or not. So we doubt it. Now after Jesus died, he rose again and he appeared to all his disciples, except Thomas. Thomas wasn't there. Now Thomas did not believe what they told him when they said they had seen Jesus and he was alive. And he said he would not believe that Jesus was alive until he saw Jesus' hands. He wanted to see the holes in Jesus' hands from the nails. And he wanted to see the hole in Jesus' side. And he would not believe. He doubted them. He would not believe until he saw. And then Jesus appeared to him. And he showed him his hands and his side. And then he believed. Now sometimes it's very difficult for us to believe things without seeing them. Just like Thomas, we might doubt it, but it's not possible for us to see the things that are written in the Bible. But sometimes we might be reading our Bible and we might think to ourselves, hmm, did Jesus really die and come back alive again? It's quite difficult for us to believe and not doubt that, isn't it? Because that doesn't usually happen. We might also think, hmm, can Jesus really hear my prayers when I pray? Again, it's quite hard for us to not doubt that sometimes. Because if we talk to somebody and they're not in our room or they're not in the same building as us, they can't hear us, can they? And sometimes we might be reading the story of the loaves and the fishes. We might think, hmm, did Jesus really make five loaves of bread and two fishes into enough food for 5,000 people? Very difficult for us to not doubt that and some of Jesus' other miracles as well. They just don't quite seem possible. But they are. And when we're reading our Bible and we start to doubt what we're reading, that's when it's time to pray and to talk to God. And he will help us to believe that what we are reading in his word, and his word is the Bible, and that what we are reading in his word, the Bible, is the truth. Now, isn't that amazing that God will help us to believe and not to doubt. It's just so amazing because do you know what? God and Jesus, Jesus is the king. He is the king of the jungle. He is the king of the sea. He is the king of the universe and he is the king of me and you. So now we're going to go and do our song. We need you to practice your monkey arms. So let's see if we can go and find some other monkeys. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs>